This video has provided a supplementary material for courses taught at Howard Community College. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the slopes of perpendicular lines. So I've got a graph here. It's got its x-axis and a y-axis. And I've drawn a diagonal line across the graph. I've labeled that L sub 1. What I want to do is try to understand the relationship between this line, L sub 1, and a line that's perpendicular to it. So to help me do that, I've cut out this little triangle. It's a right triangle. I've labeled its sides A, B, and C. C is the hypotenuse. And I've cut it out so that if I put side C right along that diagonal line, L sub 1, then side A will be parallel to the y-axis, and side B will be parallel to the x-axis. So I'm going to use this triangle to find the slope of line L sub 1. Let's call that slope M sub 1. And remember, the slope is the rise over the run. So the rise, the distance that the line goes up, is actually the same as the length of side A. That's 1, 2, 3, 4 units. And the run, the distance we go from left to right, is the same as the length of side B. That's 3 units. So the slope of this line is 4 over 3. And now what I'm going to do is take the triangle and rotate it 90 degrees. So all parts of the triangle are now 90 degrees away, counterclockwise, from where they started out. So side A, which used to be parallel to the y-axis, is now perpendicular to it. It's parallel to the x-axis. And side B, which used to be parallel to the x-axis, is 90 de degrees away, or perpendicular, and it's parallel to the y-axis. Side C, which had been running right along line L sub 1, is 90 degrees away from that. It's perpendicular to it. So I can use side C and draw a line that will be perpendicular to line L sub 1. We can call that line L sub 2. And now let's use the triangle and figure out what the slope of line L sub 2, the perpendicular line, is. So that slope, we'll call that M sub 2. We'll take the rise. That's the same as the length of side B, but we're going down. The slope is going down. So it's 1, 2, 3. It's negative 3 units. And then the run, the distance we're traveling from left to right, is the same as side A, and that's 4 units. So the original slope was 4 over 3. The slope of the perpendicular line was negative 3 over 4. Now, if we look at those two fractions and disregard the negative sign for a second, what we've got is two reciprocal fractions. The reciprocal of a fraction is the fraction flipped over. So what used to be the numerator, the 4, has become the denominator. What used to be the denominator, the 3, becomes the numerator. But we used a negative 3. So what we've got is two fractions. One is the negative reciprocal of the other. So it seems like we might be able to say that if we have two perpendicular lines, the slope of one will be the negative reciprocal of the other. Let's say this a little more generally, or let's look at this a little more generally. Instead of using numbers, let's start again and just use the letters of those sides. So the slope of line L sub 1 was the rise, which was the length of side A, over the run, which was the length of side B, and the slope of the perpendicular line, L sub 2, is the rise, which is this side B, but it's negative since it's going down, so it's negative B over the length of side A. And so now I've got L sub 1, the slope of L sub 1 is A over B, and the slope of its perpendicular line is negative B over A. So in general, we can say that the slope of a line perpendicular to another line is going to be the negative reciprocal 
of the slope of the other line. Now another way to look at this would be to say that if we multiply those two slopes together, we're going to get a negative 1. Here's how that would work. If I have the slope of the first line, a over b, and I multiply it by negative b over a, multiplying the numerators, I'll get negative ab, and multiplying the denominators, I'll get ab, and that's just going to equal negative 1. Okay, so there's two ways of talking about the slopes of perpendicular lines, and they amount to the same thing. One is to say that if two lines are perpendicular, the slope of one line will be the negative reciprocal of the slope of the other line. Another way to say it would be that the product of their two slopes would equal oops, negative 1. Okay, so I hope that helps. Take care. Uh, see you next time.